Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Angels of Death. Previously on Angels of Death, we completed the third episode. Now we've entered the finale, where all will be revealed. Wait, Zack. Don't go that way. Ah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, Zack. Fink. Fink. Hey, Ray! What are you doing? Uh... This place totally looks like the inside of a house. What's going on? Oh, I'm playing a Zack. That's not good. Hey, what's wrong? You don't look so hot. You worn out? The light, it won't come on. There is a dead couple right there. So wait. Is this their house? The TV doesn't work. So are they in charge of all this, or what? What's with this dinky book? Well, I can't read it. So I guess it doesn't matter anyway. It's all so together. Oh god, she has a needle. Huh? Its arms are stuffed. The mouths and body are stuck together. Is this some kind of doll? Zack. Stop it, Zack. Anything can happen here. So don't go around just blindly touching stuff. Huh? Zack. Hey, these dolls look kinda like you. Like they might be your parents or something. Stop it, Zack. You've been acting all weird lately. What are you losing your shit over this kind of stuff now for? Ah, what the hell? It's a st stiff... Fucking gross. Zack, hey. Please, oh please. I beg of you, hurry up and kill me. Hey, where the hell did that come from? Please, hurry. What are you blabbing about? Why the hell would I kill you here? We're not even outside yet. Plus, that's not the look I want to see in her face when I do it. But... This book. I remember. It's a Bible. God hates liars and the impure. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, please, Zack. Hurry up and kill me. Before you know too much. Please. As I am now. Kill me. Please. If you're my god. Hey! Stop screwing around and get a hold of yourself! Let me just put you on the table where your parents died. Well, you murdered them, possibly. What the hell? Why'd she go and collapse on me all of a sudden? Maybe she's exhausting. Don't blame her. And she's been acting so weird and panicky. Damn it. Damn it! Just now gets a despair filled look on her face. Ah! It's no fun of her making that face at me now. My god, huh? So she's talking about me. Ah, what's going on here? The whole thing sickens me. Huh? What's this? 
to fall out of Ray's bag. Curse my inability to read. Ah! Can't read it. Hey, there are photos on him, which means this is mine, and the other is Ray's. These numbers do make sense, though. But still, damn, we're making annoying faces. What's that sound? Uh oh, it's Peeper's guy. Come to think of it, I never did find out where that bastard Danny ran off to. That sound, that's coming from where I came in. A flower. There's a lot of flowers here when you actually look at it. It's coming from outside here. If this is our house, it's kind of like... I feel like this is like the twist of the first Resident Evil movie. It's a bit of a spoiler, but it's not really a movie going for the plot, okay? Huh? Hey, so this toy is what was making that sound. But who wound up the toy? Half expected to explode like a Joker toy. Damn it. Misleading me with the stupid shit when I'm all on edge. Oh god. We've been bamboozled. It worked! I'm rid of him! Now, now, don't you know that breaking stuff isn't the answer for everything? Tisk tisk, Zack. Don't hit the door so hard. Tired Ray will wake up from her nap. Danny, you bastard. Too bad. It won't budge even with your strength. It looks like the doors on this floor are quite sturdy indeed. Hey, what is this all about? Open the door, Danny. Yes, Zack. I could open it, but now's not the time. Isn't that right, Rachel? Oh, I do hope she opens her beepers soon. So all you people who played the Peepers drinking game, you're all probably dead by now. Um, it was nice knowing you. Uh, if we did Zane. Hey, we touch a hair on her head. You're dead. No need for attitude, Zack. I won't harm her. But now I have a full deck. Rachel's safety and how to find the way out of this building. What? Now use that worthless brain of yours to comprehend what I'm about to say, you illiterate fool. I mean to give you some clues and extend a helping hand. Why? You stood complacently by her side, oblivious. Worst of all, she refers to you as her god, and you aren't even supposed to the idea. Fuck her, rambling and talk like normals I can understand. Now go and learn about her. This floor is the very essence of her. I'll let you decide then. What's truly really best for her? Depending on your choice, I'll get you out of here. Sans Rachel, if that is. What kind of half-ass explanation is that? Hey! Wake up! Ray! She slumbers, hiding such lovely jewels. Until you know her, she shall remain this way. Hey, cut the bullshit. Shit. Know her. She must be hiding a hell of a secret then. Something about God and some other stuff. Ah, there's no use in thinking about it. Maybe something will turn up and tear the whole place apart. That's the idea. Anyway, I'll have to get there by going around from here. Huh? Shit! What was that just now? I gotta dodge him, I'm shish kebab! What is this place? What's going on here? This place has cheap instant death all written all over it. I'm glad you're John Ray aware. Ah, shit! What a pain in the ass. No wonder they made me make a save. 
Oh, what do we have here? Looks like a whiteboard. I'm sort sort of writing on it. Sure wish I could read. Guess I'll pick it up for the hell of it. I believe in you, Zack. Two names. Traps? Here we go. Man, the floor here squeaks like crazy. Uh-oh. There's a kitchen here. Someone was murdered here and then dragged in here. Wow, this place is big. What's a pizza doing in here? Can I eat it? Go for it, Zach. It's totally not a trap. Hot! Mother fucking hot fuck on a fucking plate. What sort of sick twisted trap is this shit? Huh? A door. Is there a basement or something? Area non linear. Not sure where to go first without dying. It won't freaking budge. I can push, pull, hit, or kick it all I want, but it won't get me anywhere. It's locked. I gotta search for a key! What a pain in the ass! Damn hot pizza. Why did you have to be so gooey and delicious? It's not even cold. Nothing here. There's nothing. No running water. Ain't nothing. I'm in no mood to light it. Ain't nothing. Crap, I broke one. Crap, I broke one. Crap, I broke one. Crap, I broke one. Crap. Some plates are missing. Well, I wonder why they're missing. Because we broke them. Oh, oh. oh my god. Let's check the bathroom out. Hey, something's inside. Stick your hand on the toilet. Oh, man. Ah, shit. Literally. Gross! Poor Zack. He lived a hard life. Gross! You're kidding me. A key? What kind of dipshit would put a key somewhere like this? My hands. I gotta wash them. Not even a drop comes out when I turn on the tap. Nothing. Is this a washer? How'd she open it? No water's coming out. Look in the mirror won't help. Ain't nothing to see but me. Looks like the water's been shut off, and the only water is what's here, huh? It's dirty, but better than wash them in the shitter, I guess. Watch it be acid, if it's hot also. Huh? Ah! Piranhas? Is there something? Something bit me. What the hell was it? What's this? Fish! Come on now. For tiny fish, they sure got some razor sharp teeth. And that attitude. Look like these little fishies don't know their place in the food chain. Do I look like food? Maybe. Now look at my hands. They're dripping with blood. Well, I guess blood's been improving over that other shit. Zack lived a hard life. He lived such a lar hard life. Well, we have a key. Might go to that. Let's check out the upper area. Nope, nope, never mind. Can I open the door with the key if I'm only in the bathroom? I never not touch this key, but it looks like I have no other options. It opened. This leads downstairs, huh? Alright. Let's see if this is a death trap. It's 
Some sort of post used for hanging objects between some stuff in the door. What? How does this old thing open? Can't use this here. No! Rawr. A pit trap! Damn, that hurt! I like how it wasn't even like a traditional game over. It's just... Rawr. You're just like, damn, that hurt, and then like, you just go game over. You can kind of see which one's the pit trap. It's it's a little hard. Can't do anything here yet. So we probably have to get a plate. I need two of them to match. Here we go with another weird place. Now it's a basement. Everything's so damn complex. I guess you could say it is a complex. In a complex building. At the complex. What the hell can I find about her here anyway? Wolf woofs. Man, it reeks of animals. Something's in there. He says the presence of animals on the other side of the door. Are you gonna chase me with dogs? Oh god. Whoa, shit! Those are some monster mutts. What the hell's up with this place? Are you hungry? You're all dirty and covered in drool. Back off. I'll beat your asses if you bite me. I like taking a beating, eh? You're good as dead, you filthy mongrels. Be been rapidly. Ow! I hurt you, bastard! Don't fucking bite me! Did I die? Or did I... Hey, get out of the way, you dumb mutts. Ready for another round, eh? Bring it! Ah, oh, man. Stupid pooches. Wasting my time. Plus those bites hurt like a bitch. Who uses a dog anyway? Thank God this floor definitely has a screw loose. This floor is the very essence of Ray. Or so he said. When the hell is any of this supposed to tell me about Ray? There's something up ahead. This thing's in the way. That's the way, just smash it. So let's see if this opened up. No. This is a weird room. Doll parts lie on the floor. Stuffed toys reeled with seams are lying on the floor. It's a mountain of tacky junk. Toys. See some kind of weird... You know, I actually kind of saw it coming in the beginning with the sewing and whatnot. Uh... She's a doll killer. The flower smell is so strong that it's making me sick. This is locked too, huh? How do I open it? Smash it. Damn it! I'm all out of ideas. Even if I try to learn more about her, my head can't keep up. The box won't open. And this room makes no freaking sense. Man, this place is more fucked up than my room. Your room was pretty normal, actually. It wouldn't hurt to clean up every now and then. Damn. Guess there's no choice but to look somewhere else. I gotta get back to that room and do something about that eyeball freak before Ray wakes up. Ah. 
Huh? I stepped on something again. Shit. Another trap? Maybe the chest opened? Oh! Oh, it was a trap after all. For fuck's sake! What kind of house is this? The guy in charge of this floor needs his head examined. Oh no. Crap. One wrong move and the wood will give away. If I fall, then I'd probably be a goner. Ah, damn it. You would do well to be more wary, Zack. I knew it. Just guessed it. I figured the only one who talks like that. Although, I expected something like this would happen. Expected? Expect my knife in your belly? What the hell are you doing here? Why did you save me? Come now. What fun would it be if your story would end here? That girl who paid no mind to my warning invented me with a knife. Rachel Gardner. It's with Danny, I presume. You were on a quest to take her back, were you not? So what? What do you want from me? Hmm. Zack, could it be that you have learned to feel emotions through all of this? What's so fucking funny? Quit smiling! Let that smug look fall off your face. Ah, oh, forgive me. I didn't intend to ridicule you. Then what the hell did you intend? I was merely intrigued as to what came over you. Huh? What do you mean, came over you? Why the hell is everyone here so damn cryptic? True that. And you're the biggest question mark of them all! Now, what the hell do you mean? Hmm, very well, Zack. It appears sophisticated matters are not your strong suit. Allow me to explain. Did you just have a pipe organ just beaming this music? Ever since childhood, I have observed those devout to God. Some were beautitious whilst others were blind and ugly. At times, people would exploit God as an instrument to condemn non-believers, and then pretentiously flaunt God's imagery. I suppose it always weighed on my mind. You're not making this any easier with your explanation. What would God truly really think if he saw these people? Or so I asked myself. What? Could you be civil and heed what I have to say? Though so earnest, you lack such consideration. Oh, give it a rest, will you? I told you to make it simple so I can get what you're talking about. Nothing you said makes any sense. Very well. In short, I wish to see things from the Lord's own eyes by playing the role of God in this place. This building serves as the garden of sorts to put my idea to the test. Those placed in fle floor B7 are mere subjects to be monitored. An angelic intervention was required to test the exact justice of those brought here. Those who possessed no opposition to bloodshed were adept. Danny, Eddie, Kathy, and you, Zack. Although I suspected that you have qualities far removed from the others. Huh? As you can see, my motives are complex. You are exceedingly pure and nascent. An unadulterated murderer. Which is precisely why I intend to bring you here as one of my angels. Nonetheless, you have broken the rules here, thus making you a sacrifice, as you are attempting to leave this place. So you do want to kill me, huh? I am still speaking. Do not misunderstand me. It appears that you, who only desire to leave this place, are attempting to take Rachel Gardner with you. Therefore, I became curious as to why. So both of you now 
have become monitored subjects. It makes no fucking sense either way. Ah, that is perfectly fine with me. It still doesn't make sense. And I'm not even Zack. I don't think you're verbally capable of conveying your feelings anyway. Besides, I have not done monitoring you yet, so we shall see what comes to pass. You say that you're watching everything. Seriously, Reverend? That was my original intent, though if that bothers you, I apologize. What bullshit? What the hell is an apology gonna do for me? Oh, come to think of it, solving the puzzle imposed by Danny may be somewhat beyond your abilities. Shall I lend you some assistance? Huh? Seriously? Well, handling time away is also a dull act, you see. Should you find yourself at odds, then come hither for my counsel. Come hither! In exchange for my help, however, I should like to watch over your actions. I wish to see how you intend to leave this place. What are you perse persevering to become, and who you really are? Fine. Maybe open that box for me up there too? Oh, before that. Zack, answer me this. How? How did you feel when Rachel Gardner called you God? Damn it. It never ends with these people. They creep me out. Is that so? Hey, do me a favor. Yes? Stop talking in riddles all the damn time. And stop that foulest stuff. Foulest. It's such a major pain in the ass to me. Every single one of you are just idiots to me. That is true. They all do seem like idiots. Is that so? Hey. Yes? Don't yes to me. What should I do? Because honestly, I don't got a clue anymore. Nothing but locked doors everywhere, plus no keys. The only thing I got is just this plate. Zack, is that just an ordinary plate? Ha. Huh? I know there's writing on it, but I can't read it. Names are written on it. Names? That nameplate is meant to be hung in the door of its owner's room, Zack. Try hanging it somewhere that comes to mind. I guarantee you'll get a response from it. So I just hang it wherever, ah. Uh... Yes, that too may prove fruitful. Know this. The name of a man and woman is inscribed upon it. Conceivably, a couple in wedlock. Hell if I know. Oh, you can hop over. Alright. Nice job, Zack. You got some good jumping skills. I'm gonna make a Mario out of you yet. Alright, I, I suspected this is what this area was for. Is this where I hang the plate? Do I hang this plate? Nothing, huh? Guess that means this room doesn't match this plate. The nameplate is hung on its room owner, huh? Pay dirt. If I push up this, I can get in. Whose room is this? It's just a plain old room. The perspective is screwing me over. It's got a perspective. That's weird. I mean, it's not weird, but it's weird for this game. It's gone all earthbound on us. It's empty. A big goddamn bed. What the hell is this? A brush? Huh? A photo book. It's really messy and probably be annoying to look through it.
Can I use this to open that box in the basement? What the? What the? Tits on a Christ! I like that one. The ceiling's coming down. Gotta get out before I'm a pancake. Flea on a pickle, that was a close one. Give me a break. Stop fucking with me, house. Whoever's in charge of this floor needs a lobotomy. Ah, shit. It won't open. What is this place to ray anyway? Never mind. I got a key. At any rate, I guess I gotta keep going to find out more about her. Guess I'll head downstairs. Better save in case I miss something. And trip. Okay. Save again for good measure. It opened. So it plays music when it opens. It's all just a pile of goddamn junk. And all of it reeks of kids' playthings. There's something inside. Ah, another play of writing is inside. It's smaller than this one before. Plus the writing's not as long. Rachel Gardner. Feels like I've seen this writing before. Guess I'll get going. Hey! Do I use this plate the same as the other one before? Ah, so you found the other one. Does it be handled in the same manner as the one before it? Is that so? What troubles you? Are you curious about the inscription? If you wish to know, then I shall read it for you. Never mind. Don't read it. Are you not curious? Even if I was, I don't feel like having someone tell me. I see. I like to think the people that were murdered here weren't necessarily innocent. They can be like, not necessarily a bad guy murderer, but maybe more of a chaotic neutral murderer. The nameplate. This is bound to be where I'm supposed to use it. I still don't know whose name this is, though. Oh well, just as long as it opens. Okay, it opened. It'll open if I push this. This room better not try to crush me like the last one. I know I've seen this plate's writing somewhere before. Brain cells finally working. That's right. The papers that fell out of Ray's bag. Ah, I might as well be din gibberish. I can't read it. Ha, ha, ha. Nope. Hey, there's a photograph. This must be Ray's. And what are these numbers for? It says Ray's is 13 and mine's 20. Age? Is it our ages? Okay, so the spaces between the photographs and ages are our names. The first letter in Ray's name matches the first letter on the plate. And the next letter also matches the next letter on the plate. And the next ones. 
They all match. Well, what do you know? I knew I'd seen them before. So that means this is Ray's room, huh? What the hell is her room doing here anyway? Oh well. Never mind that. I'm curious about what's in store for me next. Given what's been going on so far in this house, I bet nothing good is waiting for me in her room. Well, there's no point in overthinking stuff. Guess I'll go a bit further down the rabbit hole. Can't say I'm not curious. This is her room. If we look at- there's two bloodstains. We have one here, and then one in the kitchen. That's two parents. The floor is bright red. Is that normal? Or is that batshit crazy? I've got no clue. This thing turn on. Hey, this is that movie. In straight redacted, so you redacted the remains of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner were discovered at their private residence. Redacted. Based on the blade inflicted slashes and the bullet holes on remains, the incident is being treated as a homicide. Bullet holes. Gun in the purse of only one shot. About more than a week after the death, the remains were badly mutilated, having been sewn together unnaturally with thread. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel Gardner, was safely taken to protective custody. However, reports indicate that due to her exhibiting signs of trauma, she is currently being questioned about the innocent incident. This is a really funnily edited videotape. Rachel, why don't we have a bit of an in-depth talk for our session today? It's alright. There's nothing to fear. Ah, uh, I got it. How about talking about myself this time for change? Aha, uh -huh, you looked at me. Oh, I knew it. Your peepers are so beautiful. Well, um, to tell you the truth, one of my eyes is made of glass. I was born without an eye, you see. When I was a child, my mother worried herself sick about it. Just worried and worried, with such dark peepers. Rip all those who played the peepers drinking game. The ones who lived are most likely dead by now. Dark and tranquil peepers, just two more just died, as her child. My silhouette in them was only fleeting. Even so, I still loved my mother. Her peepers were so precious. Oh, just two more just died right there. Only the iron liver people are left. Rachel, did you hate your parents? I thought he was going to say peepers for a second. No. Well, then why do you... F Thank you, Kun sewed them up. I wanted a family. I see. How did you come to feel this way? How? Good question. Ah. Uh, come to think of it, did you find a puppy in an alleyway near your house? It was tiny and cute, yet so fragile. I wanted to keep that puppy so bad. I would get in trouble if I took it home. First I went home to tell them about the puppy. this all start over a puppy? 
No, no, we're an alcoholic family. Ah, why do you always contradict me? Well, who would listen to an alcoholic for a start? I was wor working all day, and I hate being here at this house. Why do you live here, then? Huh, it's quite a mouth you got there. Who oh, else used for some wino cop like you? Oh, tell me another one, you bitch. Alcohol is less poisonous than the shit coming out of your mouth. Uh oh, this is awkward. I'm unhappy having a wound up of a psychotic wife like you. No doubt because your very existence is a wretched one. I don't know who's talking anymore. It's just two angry, really angry people now. You're the one who made me this way. It's your fault. Oh, your fault. They're in the kitchen today. Wonder if they'll listen to me. Empty bottles. They're in the way. The television won't turn on. It's broken. Ah, oh, electricity's cut off. I gotta tell them about the puppy. Ah. Where were you walking around so late? Not talking as usual, huh? You got half a brain in that head of yours? Um. Oh, so you got something to say to me? N yes, maybe. Hold it. What do you think you're going with that money? Booze? Some whores? Playing making me miserable again? Stop laughing. Gets on my nerves. I'm off to buy my own happiness. This is the most stereotypical abusive family I've ever seen. Is that so? Then while you're out, can you buy my happiness too? Go buy some happiness with an unhappy wretch like me. No, you're unhappy. But you also burn for all the money. Some kind of mental case that can't even make ends meet. Oh, it's always my fault, is it? You always blame me. Oh, you foul bastard. You filthy hands are sold even my own life. Your brain potting out to it all soaked in booze. Hey, Dad, um... Oh, everything about this family is miserable. I could have booze to cope. Don't run, from, don't run away from the hell you created. It's you. You are the one screwing me up. Screwing this family up. It's not my fault. It's all yours. So... They have financial issues going by the state of the house. And when they do talk... The husband is an alcoholic and blowing money on whores and everything else. Also a cop, apparently. And going by a few of those betrayal dialogues, I'm assuming the wife is also spending money outside their means at the same time, partially out of habit, and she's shifting blame, and also partially out of stress. So, crummy family all around. My life's hit rock bottom because all of you fucked it up. Let's just get to the part where we murder both of them. Mom. One day, one day, I will kill him. I gotta make them listen. Get some Fred. I'll shoot him. If something happens to me, I'll fight back with this. I'll use this to kill that bastard. I'll show him. Now I've got a secret weapon hidden in here. When time comes, that bastard will blubber like a baby. He'll regret everything. He'll bow down and tell me I was right all along. Didn't have to be this way. This happened because of him. Mom. Ray, what is it? Mom, I gotta talk to you about something. Um, I can't deal with you right now. The kitchen's a dreadful mess and I gotta clean it up. 
nonsense to be listening to whatever you have to say. Thanks, Mom. Please listen. You get mad if I don't ask for permission first, right? Wait, what? Wait. Hey. Amazing. My own daughter won't do what she's told. Don't you know? Your being here has got me stuck in this hell. Your very existence is detestable. It's like I'm dealing with your worthless father. It makes me sick to my stomach. Now go upstairs to your room. I'm gonna go over to Child Protective Service. That's what I'm gonna do. Mom, if I listen to you, then will you listen to me? Go. Now. Don't make me any more of a miserable and cruel mother than I already am. Nobody's listening to what anybody has to say. Why is that? Mom was hiding something over there. Your secret weapon to make herself heard. A handgun. So something like this was here. Secret weapon. In the end, nobody listened to what I had to say. And then one while later, I went to go visit that puppy. The puppy was already weakened, likely to fall over dead any moment. When I reached out to pet that puppy, it bit me. After that, what happened until I got back home is still hazy. When I came to, I was in my room, fixing that puppy. But I was soon found out. Gosh, Mom and Dad were fighting really hard, loud that day. What a good boy. Such a good boy. I could just eat you up. I want you to stay with me forever. It's okay. Don't be scared. It's all your fault. There's nothing wrong with her because you're crazy. No, it's your fault that kid's abnormal. Ah, I can't stand this anymore. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Gosh, it's really bad today. The kitchen. Guess I'll take a peek. It is like the house a little bit. It's like a mauled off the house. The handgun's still inside. This is not good. I vividly remember what I saw there. What are you doing? So you saw that, huh? Didn't you? I never had a use for her all along. Having you just makes me miserable. That's why you too must die. The gun. This is not really murder then, this is self-defense. How awful. Simply awful. Ah, oh, that puppy. I gotta get to my room. Couldn't think of it. Mom was hiding a gun. For this moment. In that case. It's okay for me to take it then. It's loaded. Ah. I gotta hurry to my room. It's safe. Don't be afraid. There's no need to worry. I mean, I really have no choice here.
You think your father's crazy, Ray? Oh, yeah. Ray, you're just as crazy as me. Oh, no, not really. Run into your room and talk in that thing. Something's not right with you. Why don't you open that box? Ah, just as I thought. You're insane. What the hell did you do to that dog? It's a patchwork corpse. A dog. You killed it, didn't you? The stitching up its belly and sewing its mouth shut feel good. No. It just became mine. It became my perfect puppy. Hey, Dad. Become my. Become my perfect daddy. It's all right. I'll fix you. It's still self-defense. It's broken self-defense, mentally, but it, it's self-defense. Afterwards, I showed mom and dad to each other. I did so they get along with each other. Then I replaced dad's bad arm with his stuffed toys. I showed mom's mouth so she made a big smile. That was my perfect dad and mom. All three of us played all day, every day, with our puppy. Oh, it was so much fun. So when the police took them all away from me, I was so sad. I see what you mean. I understand your sadness, Rachel. Can I ask you one more thing? After that, a little animal died at the orphanage that took you in. Do you know why? Did you do that too? Yeah. Hey, so why did you feel the need to stitch it up too? I heard you absolutely adored that pup. I did adore him. That's right. I really loved him. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be? Yeah. There was something I wanted. I wanted something for my family. Something to call my own. But for some reason, things never play out like they should. Never play out like they should, huh? So, Rachel, you want something to call your own? You want more things to call your own, do you? Rachel, my mother took her own life. My eye is what killed her. Your peepers bear a striking resemblance to the one I last saw my mother's. Dark, tranquil, and most of all, beautiful. I'm in love with your peepers. And that goes the iron liver people. Everybody's dead except for me. Because I don't have a liver, I only have a void. I hope the dark glow in them sparkles for eternity. A void of vodka. A steadfast glow that will grant all your wishes in the world. Right, Rachel? That's fucking sickening. What the hell are you showing me this for? 
Is this something supposed to tell me something about Ray? The handgun, needle, Fred, and the corpse doll in that one room. Rachel Gardner. Ray. So this is her floor, huh? Which means the killer here is. Guess I'll get going. If that eyeball freak still doesn't let me into that room, then he's got another thing coming. Sounds right. It is. The final floor is her floor. Having read this many books, she must be smart. But she's still off the rails. They smell like flowers, but they're actually fakes. She had a lot of flowers everywhere. Why are all of them fakes? Ain't nothing. It's a bed.